And welcome to Weasel Jaw Gaming. We're here with some Pokemon trading card game online. And I have a strange array of challenges here. We have Burning Bright, seven fire evolutions. We have uh, Metal, 750 damage. Knockout, 12 Pokemon using grass. The fire is probably the easiest one to get done, so we're going to go ahead and start with that just to clear something off the board here. Narrow it down to our fire ducks, and I'm looking for one specific one. There it is. Relentless Flame. Relentless Flame is a very agile deck that uh, can really get a lot of evolutions into play quickly. And is going to have a bit of an advantage here, hopefully. And I lost the coin flip. Always a good start. So let me start. Of course, I have some junk Pokemon here. Collect isn't too bad. I mean, Farfetch will let me draw some cards. Well, we'll throw that out there. Put the energy on him. Get him ready just in case I draw something good next time. Really need the lower version so the Nidal Queen. Or something fire based so I can do some damage. Every time I f play against Relentless Flame, they're just pumping out cards. Every time I get it, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> I'm just handicapped for some reason. Oh, good. Yeah. Upper evolutionary form of that, a whole bunch of carry. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and collect. Hey, finally. We're gonna use Fan Club, get a Nidoran out, and probably a Ponita. We can start getting some of our evolutions going. Nice! Okay, Charmander down. Pokemon Fan Club. We want a Nidoran, we want a Ponita. Gives us a wide variety of options. Um, we'll go ahead and throw down the Ponita and the Nidoran. And then we're going to start prepping this. So he can come out and do some damage. We'll go ahead and collect again, get a couple of cards drawn. We have lots of energy. We can start getting the Pokemon we want. Could be a problem. Very quickly got up to Ferrothorn. This is a great card back here. Not the guy I would have put energy on, but no damage. Definitely do timer ball. Okay. We're going to take Knit Arena. And we're going to play Knit Arena. Because next time we want to get Knit a Queen down. Start getting our evolutions out here. We're not going to use Copycat. Instead, we're just going to draw. Gets more cards. Well, 
Corvette Knight is a problem. That's an excellent Pokemon. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Farfetch was just there to get us this far along. He's gonna dump all that energy. Kind of figured he would. But I guess he's not going to. I'm gonna evolve that one. Evolve this up to Nita Queen. We are going to. I don't know. Let's see here. So this is 50 damage per card discarded this way. That's going to be 100. He's weak to fire. That's going to kill him easily. Um, let's go ahead and throw this down. We'll throw a nest ball down and start working on possibly the other Nidoran. We're going to throw a fire on Ponita. And we're going to Queen's Call to get... Rapid Dash. Nice, quick, easy evolution. I don't need the Professor on this attack. We're just gonna do our damage. Alright, uh, we are going to Timer Ball. Nice. We'll pick Tremeleon and Nidorina. Okay, well that's good to know. Nidoqueen Queen is buried somewhere in our prize pool. So we will take another Ponita. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. We'll take two Ponitas. We only need one. It's fine. We're going to use Queen's Call. And we're going to pull our Charizard card. And he's going to be able to do 130 damage by just doing his special attack, so that's not a problem. We're going to go ahead and start throwing some energy on this guy. We're going to Roar and Resolve. That'll get us up to 2 energy. And then we're going to continue his Blaze Ball him. He's weak, and we'll take him out. Hey, there's my other Nidoqueen. Queen. Well, the big thing is, whatever gets knocked out, whatever we lose, which we're going to lose stuff. I'm assuming he's going to dump some energy. He didn't dump any energy. Now, he's not weak to fire. But we can deal with that. So, throw that out. Throw that out. Throw Charizard out here. Now, he's going to do 50 per. So, if I get two more, he's going to do 150 plus 30, 180, which will be enough to kill him. So, we are going to Brock's Gift. And we're going to pull Charizard back. Healing back and eh, throw some energy and we'll pull Charmander and some energy. Because <laughs> what we're going to do here, we're going to Queen's Call at Charmander. Put him down here. We're going to Queen's Call. 
Oops. The Charmeleon. So we have him in the deck. Or in our hand, sorry. And then we're going to Roaring Resolve. Should get us to 150. Plus 30 is 180. Just knocks out the Corviknight because he didn't shield him. Pull the fire energy from the deck. Bisharp's on the table. I'm going to pull two basic Pokemon. Oh, I would have grabbed the other pawn cards. Okay. That's fine. Evolve him up. We are going to Queen's Call. We're going to find our other Rapid Dash. Throw a Rapid Dash down. We're going to use our other Nitto Queen, and we're going to pull our other Charizard. I'm not going to be able to play that Charizard yet, but we don't need to. His attack is going to be more than enough there. So we're going to throw an energy over here. And we don't need to use any of our cards again. We're going to Rory Resolve. Pull some energy. And we're going to use that to attack him. Fire energy from the prize pool. And he's thrown out a sacrificial lamb, it looks like. Drawn some cards. So you needed to have that guy out here earlier. Using a great ball. Getting the bird back on the field. Trying to decide what his play is. Evolving to Corvus Squire. Give me for 20 damage, which pushing me at 120, which is not enough to put me in danger. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna Roaring Reserve. Two more energy out of the deck. And let's go ahead and we'll take out that Corvus Squire. Pull another fire energy. Now at this point he can easily kill me. With anything, as long as he's got an energy. So at least he's gonna get another knockout in case that's what he's looking for. Now pulls his Zamazenta. My Charizard's down, and we're going to bring in the other Charizard. Get a nice quick win here. The victory. Not something to be proud of. I had a huge type advantage there. And a really good deck. Mystery box of 25 coins. And we got our seven evolutions for fire done. 55 more coins. And we're already at max experience for fire, so nothing there really. All right, well, since we've already started on the uh, grass challenge, we need another six knockouts here. So we'll go ahead and start working on that. We can't get a couple more knockouts. And for that, oh, let's narrow this down to grass. What we want to go with here is, of course, the Rillaboom. Tropical Takedown would be a decent one also. Mm. 
Ooh. The Dragonite deck. This one's got some tricky little maneuvers it can play. Yeah, I want to go first. I need to get things moving. Oh, that couldn't be any better than that. I am going to need energy, though. That could be a serious problem here. We're gonna energy up Groki. Throw our great ball so we can pull something else. I like having Maractus around. Kind of a wild card. It's hit or miss sometimes, but can't attack because I'm going first, which is fine. Grimer's got a free draw, which is just not fair. <laughs> It's a great card to start with. You don't have to put any energy on him. You start drawing cards right away. Not a bad inclusion, it's just about any deck, just as a starting Pokemon. Playing a Cynthia right away. big thing is going to be if I get any more energy here quickly. Because if I can get one more energy my next round, I will be able to do some serious hurt. That would, would really be best case scenario. Energy or something that I can use to draw energy. Nice. We're going to start stomping our way through this. I think that's the way I would have gone with that. Oh, okay, that's why. If I pull another energy, he's down. If I don't, it's going to take me two rounds. I'm not going to last two rounds. I got my big hitter out early, but so did he. That kind of hurts. Pokemon Kid. Get Whimsicott. Nah, 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 nah. We'll get Snorlax out here. <sighs> He's going to be able to do that again. It's not going to matter. <laughs> That hurts so bad. To be able to get Rillaboom out there that quickly and then have it countered so well. Just as quickly. My only hope is somehow he doesn't have any energy. But I can't imagine with this many cards that he doesn't. There it is.
Oh. Should've healed. Should've healed. I got nothing right now. I'm basically as well. Oh, things started off so nice. I'm just wasting time. It wouldn't really matter. Had I healed, he would just put that energy on here. We would have done the 170. We would have killed him. This was a safer bet so we could get him back here. That's fine. It's just not very helpful for me. I really needed him to not get Dragonite out. I don't get to have all good games. Sometimes I'm just gonna have to take one on the chin, right? Great ball. Matters. I mean, I'll take real boom, but I'm never gonna get him on the field. He plays how for three cards. Got Pidgeotto with his air mail. Pidgeotto's airmail is such a nice little ability. Energy recycling. He gets his big attack and he's just going to start killing guys. The main reason I'm playing this deck is to try to get knockouts, so I have to really consider whether or not that's going to happen anymore and how. I kind of don't think it's going to. I just, I don't see how, so... Instead of wasting your time and mine... drop that game so we can get into a new one. It was a really good start. Had all three steps of Groki to Rillaboom. Start out with good damage. Had he not pulled that Dragonite, I would have had time to get some more knockouts. But once he pulled that, I had nothing left. A guest player with a brand new deck. I'm starting with Cottonese. <laughs> At least I can get him up to Whimsicott soon. Well, that's a great ball. See what we can find. Throw Groki down. So we can start evolving Groki. I think we start putting the energy on Groki and hoping for the best here. Wingull has collect. It's only for one card though. Ooh, combine that with a how though. Or hop, sorry. You're gonna draw a lot of cards. Well, I'm going to hop too. A lot of energy. Over there, we're going to go here. And we're going <laughs> to... Shoot. I'm going to try for a quick win. Had I gotten the cotton right on that, it would have been a win. Well, now it's not going to help me. 
Oh, and he can do some actual damage. I... <laughs> I shot myself in the foot on that one. 50-50 chance to instant win out of the gate. Well, he's definitely not going to have an energy problem. Well, let's try it again. Come on, Whimsicott. Well, at least this suspected new player is going to get a nice easy win. <laughs> I'm certainly not bringing anything to the table here. Hey! Let's try it again. <laughs> Whimsicott! <laughs> the sad part is I have this guy dead by now. I just done leap step. But no. I wanted to do <laughs> cotton ride. What's the point of having cotton ride if you aren't going to use it? <laughs> At least this will be a quick game. <laughs> We're not going to have to be here long. Oh, shoot. Oh, shucks. <laughs> alright, alright. I apologize. See, this is what you do. When you see a guest player, just... Just totally throw the match. Make them feel like they're just... Absolute best. And they're likely to hang around. And keep playing the game, right? I'm certainly not scaring anyone off with my tactics. Take that. Three cotton rides. Three! They all failed. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Three tails in a row. I should know that. 12.5%. No, oh, I'm not down. I'm not dead yet. Look at this. Oh, I put another energy on there. Let me do that. Hey, that's a knockout. That's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I got this. <laughs> this is the, the equivalent of Rillaboom. I actually toned it down just a tad. I clearly thought Rillaboom was too powerful. This guy's got less health, does less damage. I don't have any more Whimsicott, so... Great ball. <laughs> That's the, besides Rillaboom and Snorlax, this deck has got nothing. Hey, I got some cards now. Oh, 
Oh, I want I want my whimsicott back. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get lucky. There you go. Take that. This is so ridiculous. got a chance to do well, anything. Oh, we will hop. We're gonna professors research this. Great ball. Maybe maybe my opponent will fall asleep. <laughs> chance, right? If they do nothing for three turns, I can get back into this. I have a chance. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Come on. Alright. Take me out. One. <laughs> I did other three damage. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> of course. As if that that stomping last round wasn't bad enough. The type of, well, at least they had lots of whimsicats. <laughs> Those guys work well. <sighs> oh, um, I guess safe to put energy on him. Him, I'm going to be hurting. There we go. <laughs> so this this can all rest on wins again. When your Rillaboom deck depends on Whimsicott more than anything else, maybe uh, you should be playing a different deck. Oh, what, what, what can we bring out here? What can we do? He's already set up, so... There's gonna... Whimsicott! Come on! <laughs> Throw me a bone! <laughs> it's four in a row! Whimsicott? What are you... <laughs> Alright. No on, Whimsicott. We got... We'll go this way. Whimsicott, you got you got work you need to be doing. <laughs> it game's over. <laughs> it doesn't matter that I did 120 damage. <laughs> oh lord.
<laughs> and that's game set and match. That <laughs> was somehow worse than the previous one. Oh, wow. I'm guessing it's going to be Charizard again. I mean, Mental Might, one of the starter decks? Does that mean I have a chance? I, I. <laughs> I cannot, for the life of me, think that I do. It's clearly they're only going to let me play with Whimsicott. My entire strategy is Whimsicott based. Now this deck's, deck I'm facing is bad enough that I can actually come out and uh, just use Leaf Step. Come on. <laughs> you gotta crush my dreams like that? <laughs> oh, well, I got a Gossiflower. <laughs> All's well now. Okay. Alright. We've learned our lesson. Cotton Ride's not gonna work. Clearly we have to use Leaf Step. There's there's no choice in the matter. Oh, I don't even have my easy kill anymore. Because now we have Ducati. Oh, thank you. Coin worked in my favor. Um... Something. Well, I'm Maractus, at least I can get moving. Okay, we're gonna leaf step again. Just to get him out of there. And pulled another Maractus. Okay. I don't even remember what's in this deck anymore. We're going to put Maractus down. We're going to throw some energy on the Maractuses. And we're going to leaf step and just do some damage. Hope that we don't get uh, stunned here, paralyzed. Using a Great Ball. Pulling a Ralts. The coin flip says, not paralyzed. Nice. Okay. Heal Whimsicott, keep him out there. Cut gets the leaf step for another knockout. We've got plenty of energy to work with right now. We just have nothing to use it on. We got a Snorlax, we'll throw some energy on him. And we're just gonna keep leaf stepping. We've learned our lesson with Cotton Ride. That's clearly not a good idea. We're not going to repeat that mistake. We've learned our lesson. Ralts has evolved up to Curlia? Uh, not too intimidating. Oh, we got a hop for some cards. We got a great ball for nothing. 
We're going to throw some more energy on Snorlax, and we're going to Leaf Step for another knockout. Whimsicott's trying to regain all the respect that I lost for it in the last two matches. they play it. Alright, great ball. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Get an evolution out here. Not that it matters. We'll throw energy at Snorlax and we will leaf step for another knockout. Huh. 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So next time, as long as he's got energy, he's going to do 60 damage, which is going to kill me. My 50 damage is now going to kill him. <sighs> Come on, Whimsicott. Give me that cotton ride. Yes! The not so clutch cotton ride from Whimsicott. I'm gonna <laughs> start to finish this match <laughs> with just Whimsicott. What a beast! You got this. Just, just don't get paralyzed. Oh. Unnecessary heal. Oh no! Oh, Whimsicott. <sighs> Fine. We'll do something else. We'll throw Maractus out there to fail for me. Whimsicott got sidelined. Uh oh. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Come on. Alright, fine. Using a great ball and selecting a fur fru. Not getting any love with the coin flips right now. Take a hop. Power up Groki in case we pull anything else. Is that Ralt's gonna just keep me locked for the whole time? Oh, not anymore. Now we evolved. I know you know how that feels, don't you? Let's hop. Hey, there's a thwacky. 
And we'll just try powerful needles again. That one went in my favor. Pull the Groki we don't need. We got the Fur Fru. Let's do that. Let's retreat. Bring Rillaboom out here. And hit him hard. Alright. Only the second win. I thought it was rough. Mystery box for 50 coins. Not bad. We have that completed and we're gonna get... What are we going to get? Which pack? Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. Not what I was hoping for, but take what you can get. Alright, with that, <laughs> I think we're going to call it. I'm going to end on a high note here. So, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.